Hi Marissa. My subby Marissa gave me this New York Skyline Starbucks mug and I love it so much. Thank you Marissa. Marissa. Okay, okay, okay. I, um, I don't know if you guys remember the other day on the vlog I showed you that Oh. Oh, wow. 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 Can you see the lion? Let's find a lion. That's an elephant. Okay. Yeah. There's a giraffe. Put it there. One. Two. What does it, what does a lion do? Yeah. Rawr, good boy. Massey would like to show you his cool sticker dog that he's colouring green. Good drawing. Oh, okay, don't eat the crayon. It is such a stellar day today. Massey and I are just going for a walk up to the beach. He's really sleepy. He woke up, he slept through the night, he's feeling a lot better, but he woke up at 5.35, ding, so he's tired now. Just want to have a look at the bow, amazing, loving it, loving it. Some people said they never thought I would have a Balenciaga, but my god, it's such a comfortable bag. If you need comfort and if you need just, you know, an easygoing kind of non-stress sort of bag, this is it for you. So we just stopped in to get those groceries I needed to get yesterday, which I didn't get. This is the pure egg whites I wanted to show you guys again. I had shown you on a vlog before, but it's just egg white <laughs> so it's done for you obviously for desserts and stuff it's super easy but if you're doing egg white omelets so easy oh my god loves it and I'm gonna try them on some almond milk this is unsweetened almond milk because obviously I want him to have some milk at night but I don't <laughs> are you dancing are you dancing to Alicia Key good boy Hi Michael, it's Jerusha calling. I just wanted to give you a buzz and say hi and see how you're doing. Um, I just had a couple of questions about a bag for um, a friend of mine. Um, and the system is showing that the Chanel Bondi has a couple in stock. While I'm here, let's do some Q&A comments from April the 3rd vlog. That was so cute with my mum and her best friend Robbie in the beginning. How funny was that? Oh my gosh. First for that vlog, Jason M. Hi babe, clearly I'm sitting here waiting for your vlogs first again. That is very true. What's your thoughts on the YSL Sac Du Jour? Would you recommend? Oh, cool questions. And would you recommend uh, the round coin case over the key clay? Okay, uh, coin wise, the only downside for a clay as like a coin purse, sorry, Muss is asleep, but apparently my neighbors decided to start building a moat around his house. So that's loud anyway, so Muss probably can't even hear me. Anyway, the difference with coins for a coin pouch a coin purse especially with the round coin purse from Vuitton and the clay is they're about kind of the same amount they hold and they're as you know as simple as each other you just get the hook with the clay and no hook with the round coin purse but the downside is if you're not going to use the hook 
to hang on things, those coins will chip away at the hook inside. If you're gonna leave it out all the time and use it, I'd say go for a clay because it can be used for multiple things. Whereas a round coin purse is purely, it's really good for coins. Erica, hi babe. She was nursing her baby and she just saw this pop up. Oh, oh you are so cute. I still have the craziest baby fever. Hi Daniel, my subby Daniel from Sydney. I'm so happy you did keep that bag. Now, what other bags are on your wish list or at least am I thinking about? I know I'm thinking so outside of the box, Daniel. Oh my goodness. What else am I thinking about? I am thinking about so much, so many bags. Uh, I am definitely going to pull the trigger maybe at the end of this month on a certain Gucci bag. I'm going to do it. I want to do it so I know that for sure. Um, so there'll be um, a video on that, a sit down video. Uh, I'm loving the idea of the Antigona from Givenchy in the, in the mini size. But the way that this sits flat against the body is so beautiful and so comfortable. And the Antigona is not going to sit flat. You know, it's a lot boxier. It's completely structured. So I'm not quite sure. I'm holding. I'm holding on that idea. Marina loves bags. Says never stop making vlogs. Oh, thank you, Marina. Hi, doll. Catherine Briggs. Hi, doll. Right. I had surgery yesterday. Keep the vlogs coming. It's what I need to keep my mind off the pain. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope your surgery is good and i wish you a speedy recovery and all my love babe i'm gonna give you a love heart oh my gosh ashley hi babe she's so sweet ashley wrote please tell mel she's a beautiful soul it must be lovely to have her presence in your life you are all such gorgeous people that is so true she is like a little angel ray of light in our lives I need to tell you because I still I still get asked. Mel is our nanny by chance. She I did not hire her or like get a recruitment agency to give me a nanny. She's not an au pair and no. Mel is first and foremost like our family. Her whole family is like our best friends. Does that make sense? So she's like a family friend first to us. Melitza, her name's Melitza. She's from Serbia. Is like our little baby sister. Like little baby sister. And I can see how it comes across like she's some hot ass living nanny. And I'm just like, <laughs> like this post pregnancy of 20 months mum and my husband is around her. No, that's not it. She's like our little sister. And yeah, we just adore her in every way. And she's just the sweetest little thing. And she always, always means well in every way. So thank you for noticing that, Ashley. I'm getting so many comments saying glad that I kept this bag. And oh, I'm so glad that you guys think that too. I'm just stoked. And if you're going to ask my sunnies of the day, sunnies of the day, uh, Desi Perkins, Key Australia. And these are the Saharas with the yellow lens. So, oh, sorry. These are the Saharas with the olive lens. Ew. So olive with black matte frame. And I think they're so gorge. They make everything like that olive yellow color it's really nice actually okay hi annika annika said please do a review on your balenciaga i can't decide between that and the gucci soho totally oh that's a good one okay that is a really good one i'm definitely going to review this you know a little bit more wear and i'm going to review it uh i will tell you annika straight off the bat i will tell you Gucci Soho is going to hold more than this just because of its internal space. Uh, a Gucci Soho is a lot boxier. I personally don't... My Okay, this is 
gonna be controversial, but my personal belief, and I was all over the Soho Disco, don't come for me, I was all over the Soho Disco, but my personal belief is, <clears throat> I'm just gonna get serious here for a minute because I don't wanna ruffle feathers, but this is what I believe. When a design house such as Gucci, in the last six years, six years, uh, change their logo so many times, like, you know, Tom Ford had the big GGs, Farida made the long GGs, you remember when it was like those little clutch, little evening bags with the long GGs, and now with Alexandro, it's completely changed it into the, you know, the, <laughs> the cover girl GGs, which people call it, each their own. When, when a house does that, I think it really confuses the consumer. And a lot of people don't like it. So a lot of people don't like the new GGs. A lot of people want the old thick GGs, which that bag has on the front. Belts still have it on the front. So they've mixed it. It's like old fat GGs and the thinner GGs. When a designer house does that, I'm gonna say it's very confusing. And sometimes it dates the products, it dates the items. So to me, when you look at the Soho Disco and you look at the whole Marmont line and the Dionysus line and everything that they've got out now, even the vintage, even the vintage looking stuff they're coming out, when it's sitting next to all those bags, I feel like it dates it. I'm not saying it's out of style or it's out of trend, that's not true. I think it's a very timeless piece but I feel like they're just messing with you a bit, you know what I mean? So with something like this, which has really min like really minimal logo, okay, you can take this off. You don't, you don't have to get the one with the logo strap. But it's really minimal, so I feel like it, you know, unless you're a real bag lover, everybody doesn't necessarily know what this bag is. And if if you are you kind of getting what I'm saying, Annika? I don't want to put you off, but that's how I feel. And trust me, as I said, don't come for me. I was the biggest Soho Disco lover. Twinkle, 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 little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Mama! Oh, I wonder what you are. Didn't know oh, yeah. we had running noise. Oh, right! Oh, oh, running no. oh, no. oh, 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 I'm feeling like a bit of an afternoon pick-me-up. So my friend used to do this all the time. So these are like little Nescafe, what do you call them, sachets, like little pixie sticks in it. Um, so I'm gonna put one of these into ice latte. Okay, so that's the longest draw. So that's what a long black would be if you were having like a long back, if you drank Americanos, I suppose. So you can see that instantly makes it uh, more of a coffee color because it's got that um, like condensed powdered milk in it. There we go. Starbucks at home. Not bad. I would like to taste the toffee nut a little bit more. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not Starbucks, but not bad.
Uh, okay, I have to end the vlog here because I have to go and pick up my son. But I want to inform you that I am currently causing some serious financial damage on ASOS and a few other websites for a semi new wardrobe. Uh, I want to say middle of last year, if you followed my channel, I said that I wanted to freshen my look and cut my hair and make it more wavy and lighten up my wardrobe, to which I did. And I had been doing that and running that and feeling lighter and more vibrant. I want to say a good six months. I, I've done so well. I've worn light colors. You know, when I'm in black and tight, like, sorry, leggings, like today, I'm vlogging. This is daily vlogging. So you guys are with me in the house and it's what I wear around the house. But I have started to notice that I'm getting lazy with myself and I am shedding weight. So I don't understand why, you know, I'm feeling better about myself. I'm shedding some weight. I'm feeling a little bit lighter. I feel like, you know, some weight's coming off my arms and whatnot and my face. That's the first thing my mom says. Like, we can see it in your face. So I'm like, yeah, honey. So anyway, and I don't know, I'm like, well, I feel like I should be, you know, zhuzhing that with the clothes, but I'm just not there. And I think it's because my wardrobe is lacking it. Not meaning to go and buy light colored clothes and zhuzh clothes, but basics. So what I want to do is I want to go possibly tomorrow and clear out my entire basics wardrobe. So I'm talking leggings, oversized tees. I want to clear it all out donate to charity we have really great charity bins all around our area and we just donate them into the charity bin and then i have repurchased <laughs> so a lot of it's going to be active wear because that's what i wear during the day i'm not gonna lie a lot of it is going to be adidas because asos does the best adidas um, but i have done some zara shop but it's a bit it's a bit of damage i'm gonna have to do a sit down video with a try on haul, what do we think? But I'm just letting you know that. Just letting you know that. I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, guys. Bye.